This is a lecture from Open Tuition. To benefit from the lecture, you should download the free lecture notes from OpenTuition.com. Let's just go through and finish things off on tax depreciation and how it works with a, with a larger example. Obviously, you're not going to have to do a large example as such with in the exam because it's objective test questions. So you're more likely to see it tested in the way that we saw in those previous examples. But it's good just to get a, a bigger picture of how things work to improve your understanding so as to make it easier when something arises within the exam. Although not in this guise, elements of it could be examined. So let's have a play around with it. And um, what are we asked for? It wants us to work out the tax depreciation. So the tax authorities version of our accounting depreciation for the three years ended December X7, X8 and X9. Uh, so what do we have? Well, we started business on the 1st of January and you can see there that on the 1st of January, we purchased two machines. We've got the, is it the building machine? Which is the, uh, and then we also have as well, is it this stitching machine? Uh, what we're also told as well as we move through uh, is that a later date, two years later, we've got a packing machine uh, and we're told how much that was purchased for. So all of those will be charging tax depreciation. The key thing, however, here is that what we're then told is that there are some sales. So when there's a sale of that machinery, uh, what we then have is that that machinery will then be subject to a balancing allowance or balancing charge having been disposed of for 9,500. Uh, oh, careful. I've got the colours the wrong way around, haven't I? There we go. Uh, the stitching machine was there at the 9,500 when it was bought at 47. And then the industrial building uh, was then sold for 240,000 when it was originally bought for the 260. Uh, and what we're told is that on the industrial building, uh, that gets 5% straight line. So the same amount every year, 5% on that 260. And then we're told on our plant, uh, it gets 50% in the first year and then 25% in the second and subsequent years and again i knew i shouldn't have used colorful highlighters i never use highlighters i just thought let's be a bit different there we go second and subsequent years it's going to be 25 percent, and this time it's reducing balance and it looks like that packing machine that was bought for fifty-eight thousand has not been sold so there'll be no balancing allowance or balancing charge upon it so what I would do is I would look at each item separately. So let's look at the building. So the cost that we have was that $260,000. And that happened on the 1st of the 1st, was it 20x7? Uh, she bought it for 260 and it gets 5% straight line. So our tax depreciation for X7 is the, is it at 13,000? So which then goes through there and gives me, is it 247,000? as our, if you like, tax carrying value. We've then got our tax depreciation. Is it there in X8? So that's again 13,000, which gives me, is it 234,000? The key bit here is that it is tax depreciation and it's at 5% straight line. 
So we apply that 5%. So 260 and then that remains constant every single year key bit with this building remember is that it was then sold on the 1st of january x9 uh, for 240,000. so what then happens is that it was sold for 240,000. so they are my my proceeds my balancing figure is that there is 6,000 because I've sold it for more than what it was worth according to the tax authorities. What then happens is that then becomes, if you like, profit and we have to pay the tax on it. So that is referred to as, if my pen will work, as a balancing charge okay there we go excellent everybody happy with that then. brilliant uh, what we've then got as well uh, is our plants so we've got is it this stitching machine so again the cost on this stitching machine is there at 47,000 again that was bought on the first of the first x7 so we have 47,000 and remember what you've got here is that rule whereby you get 50% in the first year and then 25% reducing balance in subsequent years so you've got your tax depreciation in x7 so 50% of the 47 is the 23,500. Uh, what we then have, so that was at 50%. We then have some tax depreciation in X8. Now just be careful because that is now at 25% reducing balance. So you apply the 25% to the 23,500. So the amount that we've got there, let me just get that correct, is that's five eight seven five as my tax depreciation and my tax carrying value at seventeen six two five what then happens in x9 we're then told that we sell it at the very start of x9 for nine thousand five hundred so i have my proceeds at nine thousand 500 and then what I can do is I can put in a balancing figure that balancing figure is effectively like a loss on disposal is it at 8125 and that loss is what we are allowed as a deduction in our tax computations that's a balancing allowance isn't it and that is the balancing allowance in X9. Uh, just to finish it off, there's not a lot really happening with the most recent purchase, that packaging machine. All that happens is you buy it at the start of January X9. Uh, we go through there and charge tax depreciation of 50% in the year. So you've got your cost on the first of the first X9. That there is 58,000. My tax depreciation for the year X9, half of that is 29,000. There we go, excellent. Uh, to answer the question fully, 
The question wanted us to work out our tax depreciation for X7, X8 and X9. So what you have there is on the building we had, was it 13,000 as an allowance in X7, 13,000 as a tax depreciation allowance in X8. And then we had the balancing charge of 6,000 in X9. For the stitching machine, we had an allowance of 23,500 in X7, 5,875 in X8. And was it the, a balancing allowance of 8,125 in X9? And then for the packing machine, well, we didn't buy that until X9, and we got a nice hefty 29,000 worth of tax depreciation. So what we end up with is it 36,500 as your tax depreciation for X7? Is it 18,875 in X8? And let me see, 29 and 8 is 37, less 6 is 31. So 3, 1, 1, 2, 5. Okay, I think that should be correct. Okay, yes, there we go. Excellent. Uh, again, although you're not likely to be asked a question like that, the principles will apply in any exam question. There we go. And the key bit, I think in the first two, is to make sure that you're happy with what is a balancing charge. So effectively, that's when you have a profit on disposal, which will reduce your overall tax depreciation for the year. And when you have a balancing allowance, which is effectively a loss on the disposal, which is allowed as an additional bit of tax depreciation within your tax computation. If you've got any questions, throw them on the Ask the Tutor forum on SEMA F1 on Open Tuition. Otherwise, that's it for this moment on time on tax depreciation. We'll move on to the next topic, which I think is capital taxes in the next set of videos. So I'll see you all then. Take care. Bye.